Good evening. Welcome to this Friday night edition of Newsmax Prime. I'm J.D. Hayworth. And of prime interest tonight, the clash in Cleveland. What does it mean for the Republican Party? As the GOP presidential candidates took to the main stage last night, media mavens waited to see if someone, if anyone, might implode. Of course, that did not happen, but in the debate on the Fox News channel, the tone was set for the entire event right out of the gate, with a question asked of all the candidates, but really aimed at just one. Is there anyone on stage, and can I see hands, who is unwilling tonight to pledge your support to the eventual nominee of the Republican Party and pledge to not run an independent campaign against that person? Mr. Trump. Donald Trump raised his hand there and the debate continues. All in all, there were some fireworks, some stumbles, and some solid performances. And there were gotcha questions some candidates handled poorly and others well. I'm an old-fashioned person here, and I happen to believe in traditional marriage. But I've also said the court is ruled. But how would you but wait, 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 Megan, the, the, the court is ruled, and I said we'll accept it. And guess what? I just went to a wedding of a friend of mine who happens to be gay. Uh, because somebody doesn't think the way I do doesn't mean that I can't care about them or I can't love them. So if one of my daughters happened to be that, of course I would love them and I would accept them. Because you know what? That's what we're taught when we, when we have strong faith. My old house colleague, now Ohio Governor John Kasich, and he certainly had what we could call the home court advantage last night in Cleveland. For more on the debate, let's welcome in the former governor of New Hampshire and the former chief of staff for President George H.W. Bush, John Sununu. He joins us tonight from Cleveland. Governor Sununu is also the author of the book, The Quiet Man, the Indispensable Presidency of George H.W. Bush. Uh, John, it would be an understatement to say that uh, Governor Kasich got a positive response from the audience. Uh, but even with that response, is there a chance that John's answer to that question may hurt him with the conservative base? I don't think so. I, I, I don't think that issue is going to be a dominant issue uh, in this campaign in the in the Republican primaries. It may it may cause some concern with. Uh, some folks, but but the key, the key to this campaign is is, is looking for somebody with the experience and uh, the stature and the demeanor to lead this country out of the mess we've been led into over the last seven years. John, a whole lot of people on stage and and two different events, but overall, who do you think came out as the winner last night in the debate? I think the Republican Party came out as the winner. I think they showed they, they've got uh, uh, 17 candidates that showed up and, and uh, all made a pretty good presentation. I think virtually all of them, with one or two exceptions, and I don't think I want to go into the exceptions, uh, uh, presented their case as well as they could. This is the beginning, not the end. There's going to be uh, a, a 9 to 12 total debates in this primary cycle uh, and, and leading up to uh, Iowa's caucuses and New Hampshire's primary and then the rest of the cycle. And, and so it, it's just the beginning. And I, thought, I, I hope people aren't trying to draw too many conclusions uh, from step one. Uh, Fox News has gotten some criticism for its handling of the debate. Do you think the questions were fair? I think they were. I think they're important questions. And I think important questions are always fair. Uh, I don't know what, uh, what might have bothered people about the questions. They're there to answer for their uh, uh, positions, they're there to answer for what they may have done or said in the past, and they're there to answer for the agenda they're laying out for the future. And so I thought the questions all fed in, fell into one or the other of those categories. Uh, Jeb Bush and, and every candidate had peaks and valleys in their performance, but last night he seemed to be uncomfortable discussing a certain foreign policy subject. Let's take a listen to his answer to a question on Iraq during last night's debate and get your reaction. ISIS was created because of the void that we left. And that void now exists as a caliphate the size of Indiana. To honor the people that died, we need to, we need to stop the uh, Iran agreement for sure because the Iranian mullahs have, have their blood on their hands and we need to take out ISIS with every tool at our disposal. 
Jeb Bush still having problems, it seems, discussing Iraq. Do you share that opinion? No, I don't think so. I think his answer that you've just played there was perfectly clear, J.D. He's saying that, that, that uh, uh, basically the problem in, in Iraq today is the result of the withdrawal of all the American forces. Uh, I think where he had trouble in the past, uh, the, the question was, well, knowing what you know now, that phrase is a very broad phrase, and I don't really know what we know now. I don't know if we know everything we think we know now. So I'm, I'm not surprised that when somebody answers a question with a broad phrase like that in it, that you might get an answer that, that uh, is, is answering a different question than the, fr than the questioner actually intended. And I think that happened to him uh, the first time around, and then they dug themselves a hole trying to deal with that. Uh, John, Donald Trump goes in as the front runner. How did he do, in your opinion, last night? Well, you know, he went in as the front runner because I think people liked the words he had been using. Uh, they, they touched the court. But I think they saw last night uh, really an attitude and a demeanor that I think a lot of people are now very uncomfortable with in terms of whether or not this guy is a real candidate. Uh, I, I think if anybody as an individual was a real loser, it was, it was Trump, especially when, when he was the only one to raise his hand about not uh, being willing to commit to support the nominee. I think he's trying to use that threat to bully the party and to bully the process. And uh, the last thing in the world that I think this party needs is to be supportive of a bully. Uh, anybody else who had a real problem last night or failed to make a good impression? Uh, I think Rand got into that exchange with with Christie, and I think Christie got the better of it. I don't know how that weighs on on Rand Paul's overall performance, but I thought I thought uh, in that exchange, at least from watching it from inside the arena, looked a little bit uncomfortable for him. It may have looked a little less uncomfortable on TV, but I haven't seen those clips yet. Now, I'm interested, the atmospherics inside the arena. You and I have been around politics a, a good long time. What was the essence of the crowd? Was it because it was in Ohio, basically packed out for Governor Kasich? Or how would you break down the audience and its uh, response last night? Well, of course Kasich packed the crowd. <laughs> He'd be crazy if he didn't. I'd be, I'd, you know, I'd be disappointed in him if he didn't pack the crowd. But, but they were pretty fair. Uh, you know, but if, if John twitched his ear a little bit, they would applaud. So, so uh, good for him. Well, sure. Uh, it's a home court it, advantage, it as I crowd. said earlier. You bet. And, uh, John... Absolutely. That's, that's, that's right. He's going to have to go on the road now, you know. But, <laughs> but the crowd was good crowd. It was a fair crowd. I think for the most part, uh, what they reacted to, they were reacting positively to, you know, properly to. And, and it was a politically knowledgeable crowd. So it was a fun crowd to be part of. And John Sununu, we were glad you were there last night and we're glad that you're a part of this program. Thanks so much for your candid assessment of last night's debate and uh, the no nonsense that you would have been disappointed if Kasich didn't bring his friends to a debate in his home state. We appreciate that form of uh, straight talk, John Sununu. Still to come, uh, we're going to continue talking about the debate, but right now a question for you. Who do you think came out on top? Here's the way you can let us know. It's really simple. Go to this location on the internet, NewsmaxPolls.com. That's NewsmaxPolls.com. Still to come, a review on the left and the right of last night's debate. Stay with us.